trust me to take you high above just to be free i could give you love in the madness that surrounds your broken heart do you love me enough to just let go of the memories ones that aren't your soul could you run wild just forget the world tonight Cause nothing's gonna hold us down We're fighting up above the clouds So even when it starts to rain We're hiding in the hurricane Hello Sagittarius this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 19th of December until the 25th of December 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Nine of Cups. You are feeling happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Seven of Swords. What do you want most right now is doing something in secret, hoping that you are safe and undiscovered, something goes awry and your secret is revealed to your embarrassment. This card therefore urges caution when attempting to use cunning or deception to gain an advantage over someone or something else. There is no question that there are times in life when it is necessary to act shrewdly or do something in secret. Perhaps you had to think on your feet and act in a way that was not exactly all above board. Perhaps you had to go behind other people's backs in order to manifest your desires. Perhaps you felt like you needed to cheat or take the easy way out. If acting shrewdly is something you must do, it is essential that you do this with a clear conscience and you are fully aware of the potential consequences of your actions. Taking the easy path is not always the best path, and sometimes you just have to exert a decent amount of effort to achieve what you want. You may be tempted to sneak away from a particular situation that is not working for you anymore, rather than dealing with it head on. As you do not feel ready to deal with the issues, you are aiming for a solution where you can just escape and not have to worry about it all. Are you trying to run away from commitment, responsibility, hard work or love? You may be procrastinating letting problems slip and become worse because you do not want to deal with them. 
sometimes you just have to face what has to be faced. So, the question is, is this realistic question mark will this escape really accomplish what you want to and need to accomplish? Will it address the fundamental issues at hand here? The likely answer is no, and it may simply be an easy way out for now. On the flip side, you also need to be very cautious and wary so that you do not become a victim of someone else's deception, betrayal, cheating and false motives. You may trust someone who then turns out to be running their own agenda, leaving you high and dry. You need to be very careful of who you trust over these coming months as you are at risk of being taken advantage of. Look out for any sneaky behavior and trust your gut instincts about when something does not feel right or is too good to be true. Sometimes, the Seven of Swords indicates a desire to go it alone. You want to discover, investigate and solve every problem using only your own wits and resources. You may believe that you have a better chance at success if you act on your own accord, ignoring the advice or inputs of others. This approach is useful when you need to bypass an ineffectual group or assert your independence but it can also have its limitations. You may end up feeling isolated and excluded, missing that great feeling of collaboration and synergy gained when you work with others. If you feel inclined to act alone, be sure this isolation will really work for you. The third card for you is representing your fears your card is the four of cups you are afraid that an offer will not come your way however you must work hard to go out and get it it is sitting right under your nose so make sure you snap it up before you miss out you may also be too focused on your own issues that you completely miss this opportunity or are unaware that it even exists Keep your eyes and heart open to new possibilities, and release some of the focus on yourself to allow new opportunities to appear. The Four of Cups also reflects a time when you may be reluctant to open your heart to someone or to express your true feelings, instead withdrawing and isolating yourself from the other person. Be mindful of how this may be impacting those who are close to you and be considerate of their needs as well as your own. On a more positive note, if you have been going through a period of stagnation, boredom or apathy, you will begin to feel restless with this state of being, and will want to break free from this rut. Put aside any negative thoughts or sulky behavior. Embrace the opportunities that are already being offered to you. Reconnect with others and let them know how much you appreciate them. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you? Your card is the Three of Cups. You are open to helping others, which in turn means that others are open to helping you. It is about spending quality time with your loved ones and your friends. It is a very sociable period. You will find a harmonious balance between meeting your commitments and spending quality time with friends and family. This is a great time to let your hair down and indulge yourself a little. You may be particularly drawn to the bar or restaurant scene, indulging in great food, wine and cocktails. You may also be celebrating something special, such as a birth, engagement, wedding, reunion, or birthday. For the moment, even though life's problems go on, you can take time out to forget about the hassles of the everyday world and enjoy the company of your friends and loved ones. Such respites are often needed before and after periods of high stress, to stop you from getting burned out emotionally or physically. When this card appears and you are experiencing a high level of stress, take some time off to recuperate, and gain the support of friends before returning to reality. More broadly, the Three of Cups indicates the end or conclusion of any problems you have been experiencing, particularly those that relate to your interactions with others. 
a compromise will be found which will serve all the interests of those involved and will allow for a more harmonious environment. You can facilitate this process by bringing about positive change within yourself and changing your attitude in the way you react or deal with what is happening. Treat the situation with compassion and give the benefit of the doubt where possible. The Three of Cups represents community and groups of people coming together to focus on a common goal for the greater good of others. You may find that by reaching out to others and banding together, you can achieve a huge amount in terms of sharing your positive energy and passion with others, benefiting the wider community. It is a sign that you should seek out other people to celebrate your successes along with you. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the eight of wands. You are afraid of making mistake and fatal failures both in your work and personal relationship life. Despite having a lot of energy and enthusiasm to progress things forward, you are now being faced with multiple obstacles in your course. This is incredibly frustrating and you may be growing increasingly impatient by the day. Keep looking for alternative ways around the obstacles presented so that you can carry out your plans. On the flip side, the Eight of Wands suggests that you are charging ahead with an ideal plan but you need to slow down and consider your next steps before continuing. You may be missing something in your haste and prone to making mistakes. Similarly, this card can be a sign to hold off your activities for a short amount of time until the situation becomes more stable and predictable. You may also be prone to having many, many ideas at the one time and not knowing which to pursue and when. Just as you get started on implementing one idea, another one comes to mind and you quickly switch your focus. The trouble is that with this approach, you never actually accomplish anything because you are jumping from one idea to the next without finishing any of them. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ten of Pentacles. You are reaching a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances, to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. This card shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. It provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles. You feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. This card reflects permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long-term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the balance. 
The angels are cautioning against making impulsive decisions or moves right now. Instead, take the path of moderation and balance in this situation. You will experience better results by re-evaluating your current situation and changing your approach. If you acted impulsively in the past, you can heal and rectify things. And if you reconsidering making dramatic life changes, then this card asks you to approach those changes slowly and methodically. This card asks you to work cooperatively with others, and to see things from their point of view. Compassion and kindness are keys to successfully manifesting your dreams. Forgiveness also brings healing, which allows for new beginnings. Additional meanings of this card, keeping a moderate pace. Cooperation and blended ideas. Self-restraint. Finding the balance between action and contemplation. Waiting for better timing. Archangels at Kiel helps you remember who you are in terms of your true spiritual heritage as a child of God. Call upon Zadkiel to increase your self-esteem and feelings of self-worth and deservingness. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.